everybody, it's your favorite traveler. <laughs> hey everybody, it's your favorite traveler in the entire world, Imani B. I'm back on these YouTube streets, y'all. I'm, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all missed your girl, you know? But life was like, let's just, like, let's just really get into that. Um, I really want to know, like, I'm, I'm sure it was somebody black, but I need to know who came up with the, you know, the life is life -ing, the this is this thing. Like, we just really, we're really uh, very clever people. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad to be back on YouTube. I'm so glad to be in a space, first of all, where I feel that I am okay to create. I think we have run into a generation where now you know, outside of burning ourselves out at a job that we hate or nine to five, now we're burning ourselves out to create this content and to work independently and to get these brand partnerships and all the things. And I've had many moments where I'm like, you know what, I want to create something. I want to do a video. You know, I try my best to keep up with my Instagram because that's the bulk of my following. And then I started doing TikTok and then I grew on TikTok pretty uh, quickly. So, you know, this video is really short. I just wanted to give you all, you know, a bit of life updates for me because I think it's important that when you see someone and you're getting to know someone online that you actually get to know like an expansive bit about them. Um, so for the past year, I've been going through a divorce. I have been going through relocation. I have also been going through a change in working the traditional nine to five. Um, and, you know, working independently and, and finding opportunities for myself. Yes, that includes brand partnerships, but that also includes speaking engagement. That also includes my goal, which has always been a goal of mine since I started my career in broadcasting, which is pretty much being on television. And so ultimately, you know, with so many shifts in my womanhood, in my motherhood, in my faith, in my um, mental health, I just needed to take a step back from a lot of things. What the? Sorry, y'all. I just got the most random call from the front desk. I'm currently at the Hard Rock Hotel in Los Cabos. So, um, getting my Relax Relate release on. Uh, I'm, I'm here for a press trip. But I'm still getting my Relax Relate release on. But anyway, um, ultimately, you know, with all the shifts and all the changes that I've been going through, I took a step back from creating content. Last year, I was so intentional and I wanted to be intentional about you know, making sure that I was posting on YouTube and really, you know, attacking my channel, posting twice a week, doing all the things. And then at some point, I had two full-time jobs. <laughs> I had two nine-to-fives. Um, and that was as a result of certain goals that I wanted for myself or, or so I thought was necessary. Um, and it burnt me the hell out. It burned me out. And in addition to that, you know, there were other things in my life. And, you know, we ain't getting deep into the divorce. So mind y'all business for now. You know, when I'm ready to, to get into that, we'll get into that. But for now, you know, we'll just get into, you know, the basics of when you get to a certain point in your life where you recognize that certain things can no longer exist you got to make decisions. And so for me, there were a lot of decisions that I had to make to walk away from the things that were not serving me, serving my purpose, serving my well-being. Um, and ultimately, as a mother, you know, having a child and having someone that I am responsible for taking care of, I had to make some really hefty decisions in the past year. And so, you know, my intention with, you know, this section of my YouTube channel is to really just you know, kind of pour my heart out and, and be another vessel or, you know, avenue that I use, you know, that is therapeutic, that allows me to expel whatever it is that I need to get off of myself. And also, you know, one thing I also realized is that content creators and influencers really do have a voice that can help other people. And so over the years, People that have DM'd me about my journey as an expat. People have DM'd me about a journey as a traveling mom. People have DM'd me about, you know, finding love abroad. People, have, you know, all the things that, you know, you all have asked me over the years. I realized, you know what, I do have some sort of impact on people's lives, even if it's, you know, giving them a hope that they can too. And I think that that's important because I think that a lot of things that we see on social media are very aspirational, but aspirational out of reach. Like, 
it ain't for everybody. And so I think this section, you know, about self-love, self-care, um, joy, you know, finding yourself, um, really standing in your truth, owning all the bits and pieces about you um, is really highly important. So I hope that you all stick with this journey with me. I will be back. <laughs> I will be back. I will be consistent. I will be posting. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell so that way you can get the notifications when these videos are come up because these videos are going to be coming to y'all. Like, I'm, I'm back. Your girl's back on YouTube streets, okay? So we might as well just have a party. Ha, ha, ha.